In this tip, I'm going to show you how to only include data for completed periods. As an example, here's a chart of year-to-date sales by week, but it's only showing weeks that are completed. When I'm, the date I'm recording this is April 12th, the data only goes through the week of April 4th. Once the week of April 11th is completed, the data will then show for that week. So how do we build that? First off, let's look at all of the data in the data set. You see my data goes all the way out through April the 12th of 2022. I'm going to go ahead and put sales on the view as well. Now I only want to include completed weeks. So I'm going to create a new calculated field and I'm going to call it completed weeks. And here I'm just going to say date trunk at the week level of my date field has to be less than the date trunk of the week of today. If I drag that onto the rows, you'll see that my last couple of days here are false because those weeks are not yet complete. I'm going to drag that field to the filters, choose true. I'm going to move my date field to the columns and make it continuous weeks. And then I'm going to put sales on the rows. Now if I want to only want to show the current year, I'm going to drag date to the filters. I'm going to choose the maximum option. In my relative dates, I'm going to choose years and then this year. Hit OK. And now we see data for just the weeks that go through April the 4th. And that's all there is to it. Have a good day.